have a question for us all to answer after this, but let's start. Oklahoma, Texas, it's happening this week. Red River shootout. I don't care if you're not allowed to call it anymore. That's what it is. Noon, Texas opens as six and a half point favorites. Over under is 60 and a half points as this game will be played as it is every year in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl. Zach, are you scared? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Gabriel's playing really good. Um, and Oklahoma looks like they are back to their normal Oklahoma, just great offense. Their defense still isn't that great, but it's certainly not as bad as it was last year. It's a little better. Um, this is the kind of game where I think if we win it, we run the table. Um, I think it's it's starting to feel like that to me. Uh, I think we are imposing our will on these lesser teams that normally have given us trouble the past couple of years when there's hype surrounding Texas. Um, but we're just beating them. We're beating them up good, Baylor and Kansas, and, and we beat Alabama, obviously, and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm concerned. I think this is upset watch. Um, I think we end up winning the game because we have a legitimate defense that's better than Oklahoma's. Our offensive line and defensive line are better. Um, but Oklahoma's explosive. And if where there's a weakness for Texas, it, it would appear to be the secondary. Um, although they really haven't. We really haven't played a team that, that is great through the air yet. So it, it's definitely it's about as big a measuring stick as, as you can have um, at, at this point in the season, I think. I think we get the job done, but I think it's one of these horrifying games where it's just it's just back and forth really close the whole time. Uh, I don't anticipate Oklahoma. I don't think Oklahoma can blow us out. I, I don't think that'll happen. No, but uh, it's hard for me not to. It's hard for me to recommend laying six and a half points for Texas on this game. Uh, I do think we end up winning the game and but I mean I'm telling you this is there's a lot of scar tissue from this rivalry for me in, in my life so um some some brutal losses and some losses that totally changed the direction of the season so but if this is a legit title contender if we're going to the college football playoff we win this game so I'm going to believe I'm going to choose to believe in that and I think we are the better team I think we win the game it's tough. You don't even get any time to breathe and sit on this one. It play they play at noon. Um, they always a, play. At they noon, always yeah. do. Yeah. Oh, do yeah. they? I it just it's always at noon. But it's it's that silly. Might be it's the I'm just saying the, the biggest game of the week, the one that carries the most weight, usually is a little later than noon. Well, this that's the same is. thing with Michigan Ohio State is at noon every. Yeah. Michigan Ohio State is at noon every year. It's silly. Big noon. Um, yeah, but it's just this. It's going to get right after you real quick. I don't know, man. Uh, what Dylan Gabriel's been pretty damn good uh, to open the season here for Oklahoma. They've been throwing all over everybody. I don't know if Texas has been tested by an offense like this yet. I don't know if they've really seen a, a real offense yet. It's going to be interesting. I think you get yourself into a, into a real football game here. Um, Unfortunately, I do too. Yeah, I'm going to take Oklahoma. I knew I fucking knew you were going to do this to me. <laughs> I am. I just I think it's. I think it's not last year too. And it was 48 to nothing, by the way, (laughs) Uh, Then let's you're welcome then. All right. Well, fair enough. No, no, I I don't. There's a call back to the great Lee Corso. Not so fast, my friend. Let me tell you this, Zach, you can't do it. I understand they're your boys. I'll do it for you. Texas wins this game. Texas covers Oklahoma has played nobody. They've played Arkansas State. They've played Tulsa. They've played SMU. They've played Cincinnati, and they've played Iowa State. They've played nobody. Iowa State wouldn't be above 500 in the MAC right now. Same with Cincinnati. (laughs) Cincinnati just got blown out by BYU, who's gotten blown out by other people. Nobody Oklahoma's played as good. They've propped up. They just keep scoring a lot of points. They have not played a defense anywhere near Texas's defense. Texas is ready. This is the game. I, I don't think it's close. I think Texas rolls this year. I like Texas. I like them to cover. Um, hook them. Hook them. Now, wow. it could be the I... kiss of death. I'm sorry, but we're going to die together. Uh, oh, man. Can, gotta... I see him? Can I see him one more time, please? Yeah. 
Man, that is impressive. We gotta get the behavior. clip of we gotta get the clip of the uh, boomer schooner tipping over. Where too, it tips, then. yeah, where they <laughs> yeah. get a little get a little overexcited, overzealous. But yeah. um, yeah, I it is a shame that this game is at noon. It's at noon every year. Um, but I really like Texas. I think Oklahoma's fake. I think that they've just been running it up against some teams that are not as good. Um, I think I I agree that it might be the might be the best offense Texas has faced. Um. If their, if their offensive line holds up, though, it could be a long day for Texas. I think that's the critical part of the game. Um, can Oklahoma State's or can Oklahoma's offensive line resist our pass rush, which has been quite fierce? Well, Texas took an offensive line that preseason people were thinking was one of the best in the country in Alabama and made it look putrid and got pressure the entire time. But that's yeah, been but proven so that has everyone else. Like Alabama's yeah. offensive line is terrible. Well, it's it's yeah it's okay fair. terrible on a, re- on a relative scale to themselves it's terrible. But I'm just a, saying Texas isn't the only team that's made it look terrible. Is all I'm saying. No, um, fuck uh, South Florida Central was it South Florida? Yeah, South South, South Florida, Florida and Mississippi both made it look terrible as well. That's true. That's true. But their defense carried them, and Texas was able to bump. Texas has continued to ravage other teams' offensive lines too. So I don't think. I don't think Texas defensive line looking good was a was just purely because Alabama is having a down year on the offensive line. I think Texas can rush the passer too. So I do. I think it's a big. Uh, I think no, that's I mean, the sticking point here for me is is can Oklahoma hold up on the offensive line? And if they can, it could be a really long game. I mean, Texas also put up thirty four points on a Alabama defense that is good, and I think right. is much better than anything you're going to see Oklahoma put on the field. So I think that could, I think, I think Texas is going to be able to score a lot of points in this game. Yeah. But watch us get like a punt blocked or like throw a dumb (laughs) take or have a college football football plays could happen and it's a rivalry game. So that's it. I'm just simply saying, if you take these two teams and in a vacuum, I think Texas is miles better than Oklahoma. I think they're 14 to 17 points better than Oklahoma, not six and a half. I mean, just look at Alabama. So they gave up seven points to Middle Tennessee, three to South Florida, 10 to Ole Miss, who just put up 55 on LSU, and 17 to Mississippi State. That defense is legitimate, but you've scored double what anybody else has against them this year. So I think that's reason to be very uh, optimistic for Texas this weekend if you want to play the looking at the schedule game, which I just did because I said Oklahoma sucks. 